Hey, you, come on. I gotta show you something, okay? Look, I made this. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> so one day I was thinking about cavemen, or, uh, you know, our early ancestors. And I thought about what truly separates us in the here and now, and then them, and the there and then. Could it be that they're way hairier than I am? Or that I don't have anything close to the brow line they ever had? No. And no. Well, duh, it's the technology. I mean, back in the day, cutting-edge technology was something like he who had the biggest, pointiest stick. But look at us now. Where do I even start? The light bulbs, for one. This magical remote controls an even more mystical TV. And most especially of all, this going fishing game. We, as a species, have truly come so far. I mean, look at this phone. All that power right at your fingertips. I can get spam calls all over the world on this thing. Blows the mind. Could you imagine if I went back in time and gave a caveman this? The selfies they would take. Hanging out with the homies. Hanging out with the mammoths. Yeah, that would be something. Anyways, what was I talking about? Oh, that's right. Technology. It all boils down to that I wanted to understand technology more better. I could catch all the gorgeous fake fish in the world, but that wouldn't mean I understood it. I needed to take the next step. I needed to learn more about things and stuff. Technology. So I bought this, an Arduino kit. See, you're supposed to be able to do all sorts of crazy technology stuff with this thingy. It came with all sorts of different sensors and doodads. The magical Arduino board itself, this thing called a breadboard, but it's not even made out of bread, a bunch of wires, this servo thing, whatever that is, a joystick controller for thumbs, and a bag of LEDs, plus a whole bunch of other stuff I have no idea what to do. And I was immediately, instantaneously, I was blown away. I could do anything with this. I could make anything do anything. The possibilities were as endless as the blue sky up above. I was so excited to learn all about it, to make my dreams a reality. But then that seemed like too much work and I forgot about it for three years. And one day I was going through some old stuff, and just by happenstance I found it all over again, tucked away and gently forgotten. But no more! It was time to step into the light. And I mean that literally, because that's what I did first. What about light did I want to know? Did I want to learn the science of how it worked? To learn the very theory of light? No, because, let's be honest, my brain is a little too smooth for that kind of thing. I needed a place to begin. Something simple, to figuratively dip my pinky toe into the proverbial pool of humankind's technological progress. Light. I like light. But know what I also like? Colors. But get this, light is all colors, and so I have one of those light bulbs that can turn different colors. It comes with this little remote, and if I say, I want to turn it blue, it turns blue. Then if I want orange, it turns orange. So I was sitting there thinking, I know that an Arduino can do all sorts of things, and this remote has only a few different settings. What the hell? What are, look at all these buttons. Could I make my own light that changed colors and add more effects than just the... So that's what I did. After some Googling, I put this wire here, this resistor here, this thing, and ta-da! I made my own 
color changing LED. And look, I can make it change to different colors that I want. So then I naturally experimented with putting things on it to see what it looked like. That one's pretty cool. That one's pretty cool, too. Eh. I don't think you realize how bright this thing can get. Take a look. Eventually, I got tired of it. I mean, it was cool, a light that changes colors, that I set up, by the way. I didn't feel accomplished just yet. There was more I could do, I knew it. For a second, I thought about adding another LED. But look at the amount of wires I needed for just one of them. But there was only so much I could do with a single light. I was limited. One light. Simply not enough. There had to be an easier way. If only there was a way to have, say, multiple LEDs close together that didn't need an insane amount of wires. Hmm, something like multiple lights strung together into a string or something. A light string. A string of lights. That was it. I didn't want to control just one or two or four or eight or sixteen or thirty-two LEDs. I was going to control more. A whole lot more. And it would be so simple. All I'd have to do was plug this one wire into the Arduino so that I could control it. And... I burned out the first string. That's okay, because I am resilient. I'm one of those people that can learn and... And I burned out the second one. Okay, that's fine, because this third string, this third one, that's the one the third times the... And I burned that one out, too. Turns out I was using too much voltage. I needed five, but I kept pumping this and this and this with twelve. I know, I know, I'm... A dum-dum. And it turns out it's a good idea to read up a bit on stuff before trying it out. I know. Now I know. But Mama didn't raise no quitter. She raised an idiot that doesn't read directions the first time around. Or third. But after I had been blessed with all the knowledge Google could jam into my peanut-sized brain, I decided to give it one more go. For some reason, I bought this. Now this is just like this, but, uh, in a circle. I also got this. It's five volts, so it wouldn't burn this out. So I plugged it all in. Power. Ground. Data. And I copied in some code lovingly crafted by some internet fellas. And... I finally understood. It was beautiful. I understood why everyone is strapping colorful LEDs to their fancy computers. I understood why college girls love putting strings of lights on everything. Because it's pretty. That's why. What I would do to show our caveman ancestors this... magic. And much like our hairy predecessors before us, I sought to control this power. But that was programming, and programming is hard. I didn't go to school for programming, I went to school to study theater. In retrospect, not the best decision. But I can speak like this if I want to. Worth it. You decide. But I did not give up. I did not yield. After hours of staring at walls of code I could barely understand, I was able to come up with these. Let me show you some of the stunning light displays I came up with all on my own. Thank you. The first one I call the Ripple. This one was kind of an accident. This one just blinks. 
but in different colors. And look at this one. It's different colors and it fades in and out. Yeah. And for reference, in all fairness, here's one that I didn't make. There's a big difference between this, but I tried, and that's got to count for something, right? So that's my story. I have to learn a lot more programming in order to really unlock the mysterious secrets of this light disk. Plus, to learn more about this thing itself. Um, there's got to be a lesson here. There's always a lesson. Uh, don't give up. That's a good one. Uh, read the directions. That's another one. Okay, see you in the next video. Toodles.